This is how you know today is going to be a productive day. I got my tool belt on and my Georgia boots. John and Austin are here from Esch Construction and we're about to build this deck roof, finally. One thing that I really want to do this summer, got everything else pretty much done, but this right here is what it's all about. How are you guys feeling about this? I feel great. That's it? Let's just get it done. All right, <laughs> let's get it done. <laughs> My uh, son added a little something to our footer here. I saw that, yeah. <laughs> That's cool, it's kind of sad it's going to get covered up. If the size of your saw means you're overcompensating for something else, I'm not sure what that means about this. Look at that thing. So, off to a little bit of a slow start today because the uh, the lumber that I ordered, we got it uh, delivered and it's all terrible. That's the first thing. Second thing, Heidi just called me and Juno fell off the jungle gym today and it might have broken her wrist. They should be heading home soon and we'll see, but not a great start to the day. All right, to lift our beam up, uh, John and Austin brought this super slick beam lift. How does this work, John? Okay, so we're gonna set the beam on these arms. These uh -huh. are the outriggers that kind of keep this thing stable. And then we very slowly, because that's how it's made, raise it. Oh. Not really designed. Hold on, I got an idea. It's like a really lame carnival ride. How are you? What happened? Oh no. You fell off the jungle gym? Yeah. You, you're not crying? You seem very tough. Are you tough? Yeah. Are you doing good? What did they say? She said that they couldn't really tell if there was, it wasn't like a clear fracture, so they have someone else looking yeah. at it. They're gonna call us to let us know if there's something else that we need to do besides this brace, but she might have to go get a cast. Oh, cast Juno! Cast. Do you know what happens if you get a cast? What? Then you get to have all your friends write their name on it. And you can draw all over it. And we can paint on it. And we can it'll be the coolest cast anyone's ever seen. Well, let's hope we don't have to have one. But if we do, it's going to be okay. How's the baby today? Uh, probably fine. I'm tired, but it's all fine. You're tired because the baby's fine. Probably. <laughs> So I've put up steel roofs a few times before, and the one thing that is the most frustrating is when your screw pattern gets off. So what I did, I marked out with a little red paint marker every single screw so the pattern stays consistent all the way across the roof. is a beautiful thing, isn't that? Look at that, that's pretty neat. Let's take a selfie with this roof, look at this. Okay, hold on. One more thing I wanna point out is these screw lines. Look how perfect, ready? Perfect. We do need it to rain though to uh, take the footprints off. So, we could use the moisture. I'm pretty pumped about this decking. So these are deck tiles from Advantage Lumber, and they actually make these to go over the top of concrete. But you can also just put them on top of a deck by just screwing the connectors down to two by six nailers, and then all the pieces will just pop right in. Pretty slick.
These deck tiles are so easy to install, literally a baby could do it. <laughs> Push it in. <laughs> All right, we're back at it. Got the reinforcements here today. My father-in-law Irv is here and uh, David is here. Whenever David shows up, you know you know that uh, I'm behind. Not for long, we're always almost there. Always almost done. Great uh, segue, David, to our new uh, construction shirts. Couple more days construction. Check out the back. Always almost done. Dudedad.com. <laughs> What do you think? Is it a uh, step in the right direction? Wow, you're so clever. It is finally time to clean up my tools after a month so that we can stain. So normally I would just put DeckWise Ipe oil on this and be done with it, but since this is teak and we have Ipe on the house, I'm gonna be using this stuff um, that's supposed to make teak look like Ipe. So we're gonna give it a try, see if it works. All right, the V-Rail boxes are out, which means we are almost done. Well, we're always almost done. But this is that last little finishing touch. Here we go. All right, that's it. Okay, you ready, guys? Three, two, one, look! <laughs> Take a look, you know. I love the deck tiles. The pattern is super fun. I love that they're back and forth and they are really smooth, so it's easy to walk on with bare feet. One of my favorite parts of this build is the sky jacks. Basically, I had to cut a hole in the roof and have these posts attached to the top of the wall. It lifts that roof up to allow sunlight in, so even though we have full shade here, it doesn't get too dark. Our family loves to be outside, and this space is gonna allow us to do that, rain or shine. So that is where the outdoor kitchen is gonna go. So we're not done. Yet. We're, we're almost done. We're always almost done. 